welcome to today's video. I just filmed this and then I realized that my tripod pushed a button on my phone somehow and it didn't record. So here I am re-recording this for you. It's very hot up here, so I'm sweaty and I've still got my safety glasses on, mind your business. I wanted to show you all what I got for a home decor tour, um, home decor haul. And I went to three stores today. I went to the Super Walmart, um, Home Depot, and Hobby Lobby. I'm just trying to like acquire things that make it feel like home. My biggest mission today was getting new curtains um, because we have like seven or eight windows on the south side of the house that don't have any blackout curtains and it is hot upstairs every single afternoon. Like we hide in the bedroom after 2 p.m. because <laughs> that's the only room that has curtains and air conditioning so it's the coolest room in the house besides the basement. So that was my mission today was to get curtains and I want to show you guys what I got. The first one that I have is this one for the kitchen. It's just kind of like a cute little silver, um, silver lattice. A lot of the kitchen um, stuff in the kitchen that we're going to keep using is like silver, like the counters are gray, the floor is kind of gray, so I wanted to keep with the gray and the white in that kitchen. The next one are three of the same set. These are just like regular linen um, curtains. Two of these are going to go in the second kitchen that we have, second kitchen that we're going to be end up um, demoing later. And the third pair is gonna go in the room that I'm currently in, which is gonna end up being TJ's office. Um, so he'll have some nice blackout curtains. And then the two um, in the other kitchen. And then the last set, which I'm very excited for, I got these um, beige botanical kind of curtains. I really liked the stitching in between, the like, uh, you know, beige color. I also got this as a complimentary set because it's going to match the colors that we are painting that living room and I gotta keep it a secret. I'm very excited for it and I think it's gonna look very, very good together. So I got two sets of the beige botanical and then the one set of the rust color. And then at TJ Maxx the other day, I picked up another set of curtains that were on a really good sale. These are 84 inch, um, just like really thin linen curtains. These are gonna go in one of the bay windows downstairs. I haven't decided which one yet. Um, maybe the front window, cause it gets, it's on the west side of the house. So it gets sun in the afternoon. So matching set is for $16 each at TJ Maxx, which is a good steal. So I got those. And then that's it for my curtains. And what else did I get next? Let's do, let's continue the Walmart tour. So I got new paint rollers because I need to um, primer the two rooms in the attic, in the attic, third store, third floor. <laughs> um, that way I can paint them. So we're very close to picking paint colors that we wanna start putting in the house. So I wanna primer the walls up there just to get them a nice even coat. Um, I also ended up picking up some knee pads at Walmart, your girl's got bad knees. And we're gonna be doing some flooring soon. So I got these like flat surface knee pads that'll hopefully save, save me some pain. Walmart, I also got this two packs of utility blades because we run through these like crazy. I think that's it for Walmart. Oh, trash bag, trash bin, trash bin for our bathroom. That's truly it for Walmart. Next, let's go to Hobby Lobby. I picked up just a few cute little kitchen things and then wall decor. Just reorganizing here, undoing what I did for my last video. So I thought this was cute. It's like a little lattice cut out rolling pin thing for the wall. And then this is really cool. It's a how to half of a recipe. Um, there's only two of us. So a lot of the recipes that we make, we cut them in half. So it's not so much food. Um, and I don't always want to do math while I'm cooking. So that'd be super cute and fun and helpful. I got this woven rope from Hobby Lobby cotton cord. Um, I want to try making my own uh, curtain ties rather than buying some off of Amazon. So I will be doing a video on making these. And then also from Hobby Lobby, I got this, sorry, air compressor. <laughs> I got this super cute wooden picture frame. And what I want to do with this is put those um, Skalhegan postcards in it and hang them on the wall so we can show the history of the town with our historical house that we live in. I got this for our bathroom in the front of the house. 
where I'm going for green, um, black, and gold with like black and white details. So this is gonna be super cute in our bathroom. And then of course, being from um, Montana, I could not pass up a buffalo. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet, but it's going somewhere. Maybe in our hallway at the top of the stairs, that would be really cute. So I have only seen one season of the show Yellowstone. I've watched 1883, I've watched 1923. I'm a fan of the idea of Yellowstone, I just don't care to watch the rest of the seasons. However, where I used to live in Montana was 30 minutes north of Darby, which is where Dutton Ranch is located. That's the filming spot. And they also used to film in our town, Hamilton, a lot. So I'm very uh, <laughs> familiar with Yellowstone and where they film. I actually saw the guy who played Rip at a bar one time um, in Hamilton. So I saw this picture and usually I don't go for Yellowstone merch because I just couldn't care less, but it just hit a very soft spot in my heart because I really miss the Bitterroot Valley and the Bitterroot Mountains and seeing them every day. So I picked up this picture. The, uh, the quality is not the best, but I just couldn't resist. I just needed something that was reminding me of home. So this is the, uh, the Bitterroot Valley um, where Yellowstone is filmed. I got this from Home Depot the other night. It's a little uh, towel hook that we're gonna use in our bathroom as well, because it's black. And today at Home Depot, I picked up a um, shop vac for us and uh, TJ needed some nitrile gloves. So he's using that stuff downstairs. Um, so that's it for home stuff. And I bet you're thinking, wow, Ashley, you did such a great job. You were so responsible with your money and only buying things for the home and not anything personal for yourself. And I have to say, you must not know me that well. So. Check out the clothes that I bought today. <laughs> I have been wanting to buy, or wanting to wear bandanas in my hair. Um, where did my last one go? Whatever, I'll find it. So I picked up this one at Hobby Lobby. It's black with gold bandana detailing, paisley, I guess they call it. This one is red with some white crane birds on it. I will find the other bandana momentarily here. Oh, there it is. And then of course I couldn't resist something with plants on it. So that's got plants and some flowers. And then it's got like a white like checkerboard um, on the other half, which I thought was really cute. So kind of like that. So yeah, that's my home decor haul for today. Thank you for joining me. I would love to do more of these because I'm sure we're gonna be buying more shit for the house. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.